Hey guys, I'm the real Randy Chavez. I can't believe I have to make this video. At some point in my streams of the last X amount of days or so, um, I'd had a guest on and I obviously read the comments. Obviously, I'm not too quickly. I'm always behind on them, uh, behind on messages. Sorry about that. There was this one person who shall remain nameless, um, but just a screenshot of them uh, messaging me in December of last year. And this, this person is a whale, a Vivian Omi whale. Hey Randy, I took a cheap loan, about $300,000, yada yada yada, $260,000 left to invest. I'm a bit unsure of the safety in VV app. Any thoughts? We had a couple, we had, we had a talk, not financial advice, uh, obviously. It was just what I was doing and why I was buying Omi and, wh and why I was advising my friends to buy Omi and what opportunities I saw in the VV app, what opportunities I saw with Omi. This person and I had a fairly good relationship. And why did I go and ruin it? Uh, because as a pub not only as a public figure, and, well, one, just I, I think being a decent person, but again, two, as a public figure, and three, because somebody has, yes, you're reading that right, the real Randy Chavez tattooed on their person. And I think that kind of tells me that I've lost the right to screw up. So when somebody, and I don't, obviously, clearly I don't care who it is, you could be a nobody to me that's somewhere between a cockroach and the white stuff that accumulates in the side of your mouth when you're really thirsty, be one of those people, or you could be a VV whale, Omi whale. If you are going to make sexually explicit, horrendously offensive comments towards a guest that I have on, you're blocked. You're done. And, and this is not to say that I don't appreciate good jokes and taste and humor. Some my taste and humor is a little dark. That's not what happened here. Uh, that it wasn't like a joke of a you know one-off thing of something that somebody said. Straight up sexual harassment, like in one of my streams. And again, just showing you. Six years ago, the Chavez does your, the roast yourself challenge. I am all about making fun of myself and humor in general, 4chan, uh, frequent 4chaner. That, and, and this roast has me making fun of the fact that I want to unalive myself, a problem that persisted for several years after, which I joke about, my dead fiance, uh, ex-fiance, and uh, me being adopted, all the things that you know probably shouldn't be joked about, but they're about me, they're funny. I appreciate good dark humor, but... Sexual harassment, that's that's not humorous. That's not funny. Uh, so that VV whale uh, w was blocked. Um, so I said, I don't, I don't care who you are if you're coming into my comments doing that. How do you prevent that? It's like, okay, okay well, Chavez, maybe you're just thinking like, okay, it wasn't that, uh, maybe it wasn't that bad, Chavez. Maybe it wasn't, maybe the person, um, I, and, and if you're a community leader or if you're in the public eye, you you're going to develop thick skin pretty quickly. If you weren't in the military, but you happen to be, you know, and you didn't develop thick skin that way, you'll develop it um, by putting yourself out there very, very quickly. Um, for, fair warning to anyone else that that is looking to post content, uh, especially if you're a woman, uh, especially if you're a minority uh, or a woman. But I do have a little bit that I did want to say to... You know, I'm not going to have anyone like raise their hand or call themselves out. There's a, a word like that that we have for these small PP energy guys. They're called incels. For those of you that don't know, they're involuntary, involuntary celibates. That's Those are people that want to be having coitus with a woman, but they aren't because they repel women for one of a plethora of reasons. And I, I get it. You know, w women have a higher set of standards. Good. Good for them. Gatekeepers of the DNA. Uh, how do you attract someone with high standards? Okay, well, you don't sexually harass them. That's obviously the wrong thing to do. Can't believe I have to freaking say that. What's another thing that you could do? You can write down the qualities in which you would want in your ideal woman on a piece of paper and then on a separate piece of paper you go and you write down all the qualities that you think that woman that you have just made for yourself, all the qualities that, that she would want in a partner, and then try to be that person. 
work out, get in shape, get fit. They're one of the biggest compliments and complaints about other partners that she had had uh, was this girl that I dated a few years ago. We'll call her Jackie, uh, where I, you know, she was sitting on the windowsill, you know, in our hotel, picked her up, you know, tossed her on the bed. She's like, whoa. And I was like, you okay? And she said, oh, just nobody's ever picked me up like that before. And she wasn't a, you know, a tiny thing, but she wasn't, you know, a, a big, large thing either. And she's not the first woman to tell me that. Guys, start lifting. Start, like, being able to, to you know, if, you know, consensually, you know, lift your woman if they, you know, just get in shape. You are going to be much more attractive to these women that can get relatively any guys they want. Again, if you're you're an incel, this this is hundred percent for you. Get in shape, get 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 yoked, get jack. You know, go to doctor, nutritionist, whatever you have to do. But that is one of the things. And if women are majestic creatures, and if you go and you take a look at a woman that has a college degree, she's probably not going to be want to be with someone that doesn't have a college degree. You have somebody that you know a woman that is making six figures a year probably doesn't want to be someone making $30,000 a year. And that's just, that's just the way it goes. Women tend to date across and up. Very rarely will women date down that dominance hierarchy and be, become, go, go into martial arts and, and become a dangerous man. Because if you're, if you're a weak man, you're, you're not virtuous. You can't protect anything. There's a bunny over there in, in the corner that, that my friend has. That bunny's not good. That bunny's not virtuous. That bunny can't protect anything. It's just, it's just there. Take a, you know, what, what does Captain America do? I, I mean, I, and, and I get it, you know, corny, AF, whatever. Captain America has that strength to be able to defend those around him, which, you know, it, it doesn't have to just include women, can include your younger brothers, younger siblings, whatever it is. Um... That is what we would call big PP energy. Again, I can't believe I had to make this video. Like I said, I'm not going to advertise this. I'm not going to go out crazy with it. But start being better. And, and that could go to just humans in, in general. Um, I do love you all. I will 100% be answering any questions, comments, concerns. Um, but I will talk to you all later. All right. I love you guys. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow.